to this four-game weekend set between the San Diego Padres and the Colorado Rockies. Gerald looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. Late now is Gerald Payton, Payton already holding Payton. the all time hit streak record. Gerald. He continues to carve Payton. out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 no, years or fizzles it. away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. The 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. one, one. While his hitting streak might be drawing most of the attention, some might not realize he's hitting for real power as well, slugging over 500 for the season. And that's the beauty of it, Matty. He's doing it with damage. It's not the one for four with the ground ball with eyes or the bleeder with no one on that doesn't help the team. This is a guy that's done serious damage from day one of this hit streak, and it's continued. Abrams takes charge, and he's got it. Two down. Up next, Gerald Hayden. The third over base. one for him here in this Gerald. one. Hayden. First offering on its way. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up is the center fielder. Still going back. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. So a solo shot here to left center field number 720 for his career and the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. Most pitchers aren't going to throw this guy much of a fastball to try to challenge him because this guy can hit him a mile just like he did with that swing right there. Impressive power. That will be Gerald Hayden comes in That's one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, Matt, that did. last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Come on, big guy, one time. Here we go. First pitch coming, here it is. High and deep to right center. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. His second home run of the game as this lead swells to seven to nothing. got to feel really sorry for the pitcher he was up against the ropes bases loaded with a power hitter at the plate the best thing you could do in that situation is to try to keep him from making hard contact well so much for that he obviously made a mistake and the big slugger made him pay so here is Gerald Payton as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear him. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Robert Hassel, singled in his last at bat. There's ball four. Take your base. 
Next, it'll be Ty now France. Now. He grounded out pitch. last time up. Time. Yeah, Matty, expect this France. pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants no, you to say. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Digging in now for San Diego, Joe Rizzo. The second baseman, Joe. Here's Rizzo. the one and two delivery. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Corey Lee digging now in now. now. He's over one ball. thus far. Corey Lee to third. Through the second for the fourth shot, and the side is retired. Odds leave them loaded. They still lead it though, 10 to 5. Now with the plate is now Gerald back. Hayden. Three for four so far in this Gerald. one. Hayden. Here's a look over to first. Hey. And he'll dive back in safely. And again, a throw. He's in there. And a dive, but he's back in. Now the first pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth the second look here, as this is a beauty to end the inning. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more. Leading off the inning, it'll be C.J. Abrams. The and they could use a spark from That's him here. Stop. Offense just CJ. needs to find a way to get that pass the baton mentality. Starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Oh, Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow, someone can bop one and get them back. Striding in for the Rockies, Aaron the Shunk. He bounced down basement. last time up. Aaron Shunk. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. On the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. So the next to bat will be now Gerald back. Hayden. He'll try to build on an already Zero. great game. He's hey, three for five there. so far in this one. Hey, now, here we go. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Lee, the runner at third. Machado on second. Cortez at first, one gone. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non competitive pitches in some big situations. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Hey, talk about having a productive inning. You like to see that. You like to add on runs anytime you. And if you're looking for when this game was decided, that's pretty easy. It was the big fourth inning. That was the big turning point, and they made it stand up the rest of the way. 12-5 is the final in this ball game. The Padres scored 12 times in round two a win tonight. Matthew Musk hangs win number 11 on his line.